Second game, it's another Protoss vs Zerg, but this time we have the one-man army. NRS, sometimes jokingly called Team Wilmu, and it is the Finnish Protoss player that starts at the bottom left. He single-handedly killed MC's team in the qualifier, and it was absolutely amazing to watch him play there. But now he's going up against a very, very strong Zerg player. With the first win in game number one against Knight, and Lenok was able to put his team in the lead, and now it is time for him to face Wellmo. And this is the game that personally I've been waiting for the entire time. I was really hoping that we will be able to see this one because it's going to be absolutely great to see those two are going up against each other. And I think it's also going to determine a lot about this team match because whoever's going to take this one is already putting quite the... Uh, yeah, quite a highlight up there. I mean, if Lino takes it right now, then NIS is seriously in a lot of trouble. Of course, they can revive Velmu later as the ace player, but still, you, someone needs to take down Lino, and they don't kid around. They bring the big guns right now. So it's definitely something that could work out. Velmu gets a good scout off into the main base of his opponent immediately, and that's pretty cool on Altism Stronghold, because usually as a Zerg player, you are even thinking about going into double hatch before pool. And uh, he sneaks away with one drone and apparently does take the base outside of the map. So let's see how exactly Wilmo is going to play this. I'm more interested about him than about what Linok does. Linok starts with a hatch first. And that is something that, of course, Wilmo by now with the timings knows. Because he's like, well, we didn't start the pool yet. So, of course, the minerals have to go somewhere. You build a hatch. And now it's only the question, like, where is that hatch? So... That's going to be pretty... I, I really like this this game already. This is a very different pace from what we usually see. Because Velmo still goes into the Nexus first, but this is something that Linok doesn't necessarily know. And I'm pretty sure that Linok would have gone into double hatch before pool if that probe wouldn't have appeared in his main base. But right now he's like, well, I don't really know what he does. So first of all, he has to uh, have a drone over here to scout this. We have one pylon being built, and it looks really like he just wants to fake him out. He's gonna fake him out here. Yeah, Linok doesn't react at all, which is kind of funny. So a lot of mind games are going on here. Linok not going into double edge before pool. The probe is still here. Uh, it's only one drone though, and uh, Linok is not getting fooled by Wellmo. I love this already. This is very tactical what the two of them are doing right now. Just trying to get it into each other's head. So off to a good start already in this game. And uh, the spawning pool has been spotted too. So... That game is going to be pretty sick. If Linok takes down Wellmo, NS has a problem. If Wellmo, on the other hand, is able to defeat Linok here, then of course there are still a lot of very strong players on the Joey Flash Wolf roster, but if you eliminate one of the Koreans right off the bat, that gives you a pretty good start into the game. So uh, that's something uh, where we could see uh, NRS and especially Wellmo gain a little bit of momentum to make this work. For now, one of the things that we could also see is, of course, at some point, Wilma going to take a third base. What I love on a big map like this is if a player, for example, decides to just take a base up there. We had a very interesting game with Goody versus MMA just recently where exactly that happened. A little bit surprised that Lenok actually let this pylon finish here because that has, I think that was a mistake. He probably just missed the cancel. That pylon has no chance of surviving and that's 100 minerals that he lost there that doesn't achieve anything for him. He won't have the warp gate research done in time to put that pylon to use and he doesn't accomplish anything. The Zerglings getting into the main base, that's another big problem for Wellmo. Not really a big problem, but the Zerglings will now see exactly what's going on and they might even be able to snipe down one of those probes if he gets lucky. I don't really think that's going to happen, but he has a chance. The Zealot is already there and is trying to chase them down. Third base on the way as well. As you can see, we have Lenok with the hatch right over here. And that pylon is going to die in a second. Not supply blocking Wellmo though, because he was careful. The war prison, uh, not the war prison, the mothership core is out. More Zerglings were running into the main base. In total, still one harvester killed, so that's still the scouting uh, probe that we saw going down earlier. So everything is just going quite fine for both players. A bit of mind games in the early uh, stages, but still, it's three bases for Lino, kind of what he wanted there. For Wellmo, we have him now going straight into the robo that was not scouted so far. The Zerglings might get a glimpse, though. He might be able to get in there. And it looks very much like it's going to be the case. If he moves further up, there's the force field. And he should kind of know that there was something hidden. But yeah, pretty smart by Wilmo here as well. So force field being dropped to uh, prevent the scout. I like this game already. It's just these, these tiny things, these, these nuances that we currently have that really make it already enjoyable even though there are no big fights happening and both players just trying to mind game each other a little bit and get maybe a slight lead in the game. 
Immortals are being built right now, and that's of course one of those tough builds to face. Linok is adding his own tech into a uh, lair, and a Roach Warren of all things, so he should be able to prepare already. Maybe a quick Hydra then that would also do him some good here, but we have six additional gateways for, yeah, for Wormu right now. Massive aggression coming out of him. He's absolutely gonna go for it. And the, the only thing that we need to focus on right now is the harvest account of Lingov. 54 should not get mu any more than that. He's going for... F oh, nice. He gets spine crawlers right away. Yeah, he, had, he, he scouted it. Okay, he had a quick look there. He saw with the overlord, the gateways, and he knows, all right, something is absolutely going on. You are not building this many gateways just because you think they are pretty. It's actually funny that a lot of girls play Protoss because they want to play the shiny the shiny race. They have shiny blinking things and the pylons, they look like diamonds. But yeah, in this case, Welmu definitely building those because he wants to put them to some use and not because they look pretty. So we have now the War Prism also started and a lot of spine crawlers already. No tech into Hydras, it's just going to be the speed for the Roaches, but it's still going to be pretty difficult to hold that. Two Immortals, a lot of sentries, the rest of the army walking across. We are nine minutes into the game and already Welmu is on the way. But Linok, he knows what's up and that's why he's building just spine crawler after spine crawler everywhere. So he has a very nice defense set up against this. Has Zerglings on the way. We have the Roach Warren also here. Spreading out the Spine Crawlers a little bit further. Yeah, sees already what's going on. They're trying to deny, of course, that Pylon if he can. If he snipes that probe. Oh, he just misses it. Just misses the probe, but he takes down one of the Pylons that was built there. There's no cancel. Tries to uh, get the reinforcements. Oh, if he gets the sentries. They, those are some juicy sentries right there. Oh, and he gets at least one. He gets one, two, he takes the sentries down. That's three sentries that he just was able to kill. There are the force fields trapping a lot of units, but actually not all of them. The Spinecrow is still doing the damage. Well, we have to be careful. Linok is looking at a really good army supply with 62 against 59 right now. The reinforcements are going to be caught up by all those units that we see there. Now that the pylon is done, on the other hand, he needs to walk in. He needs to move back because now the reinforcements are, of course, being warped in right here. The links are going to run in. The Immortals are already doing a lot of damage. The Pylon is going to be attacked, but that is, is it going to be a putting a stop to this? We have still a War Prison that's over here. But the War Prison is attacked by the Queen. The drones have been pulled for a second. Resources lost, 2,000 against 1,800. Oh, oh, a bit of a misclick by Linok, moving in. But he's still just trying to buy time. This is him buying time, taking down Pylons, making sure that War Prisons are going to be a little bit more difficult for uh, Welmu, because when, if Welmu has to use the Warp Prism for Warp Ins, he can't use it to just save those two Immortals, and that's super important. The more Force Fields he baits out, the better, and he's attacking from every angle right now. The Force Fields, they are immediately being dropped, and here goes the Force Immortal. is already gone. The second one is about to die. Welmu is in trouble. Lenok looking strong here, but he is not done yet. He's not safe yet. The Immortal once again being put to some good use and immediately saved by the War Prism. But he's going down finally. And this is some nice play that we see here by Lino. A great defense against Velmo. The Finnish player is doing his best, but it's looking very grim. He's losing more sentries. Resources lost already heavily in favor of Linok at this point, taking down everything that Velmu has and his economy is still better on three bases with 52 harvesters. We have Velmu moving back, maybe trying to get under the high ground, but we also see Zerklings in position, so even with the force field on the ramp, nothing would happen here. He's just trying to have a glimpse on what exactly is going on. The Queens are already taking down the shields of the War Prism. Lenog is absolutely safe, walking cross map. That pylon is gonna die, there's no third base. Great play that we see here by Linux so far. Well moved with a very, very nice aggression that he had there. More spine crawlers being built and even the Hydra end right now. Linog is playing this super safe. He's like, yeah, the only thing that can kill me by now is if you decide to go for another massive attack and if I play too greedy. But if I play this safe, then I'm in the lead, then I'm ahead and you will have a very, very tough time to beat me because I am already in possession of a better economy, I have more harvesters, I have the better army right now. 47 against 30, the tech into the Hydra Lisks. Lenok is looking at a very solid position in this game. And Wilmu has to kind of find an answer to uh, this problem because going into a third base is definitely possible for him, but he's already trailing behind and the question being, will Lenok allow him to really get that third without going for another base on his own? An attempted drop here 
taking down a few harvesters. I think he killed like a couple. He already killed a few over there. So it didn't really take down too much. The war prison skirting the edges of the base. But you can really see the difference in the resources lost at this point and the hydras they are going to put a final stop to this the one thing that Lino Green wants to know of course is if there is going to be a third base and that's exactly what Wilma is going for now oh big big leg spike apparently an observer with a problem three immortals right there just waiting and here come the roaches he could snipe that he could actually snipe that the immortals will be a little bit too slow I feel he might be able to guess he is definitely gonna get that or is he no force yes there's the cancel the force fields trapping that for a second, the cancel on the third base, delaying it even further. When behind Dark Shrine, that's what we currently see from Welmu, but I doubt that Lenok is gonna fall victim to that, especially since he already has, of course, the lair tech and therefore the opportunity to get overseers. Now we have the zealots trying to move in, but there are too many spine crawlers, too many units. We have also the infestation pit started, it allows swarm host, the tech into hive. Lenok with a range upgrade for the Hydralisk about to be completed. Just walking cross map now with a 70 supply lead that manifests itself in a 60 supply army lead. Dark Shrine could definitely ruin Lenok's stay a little bit, but if this army arrives, we thought that the third base is once again going to be cancelled. There's no way for Welmer to hold it, so he needs to cancel again, and every second that he doesn't have a third base is going to be a problem for him. He's just losing time here. Saving the main base is not really going to be a big problem problem for Welmo with the force fields on the ramp so he can still get the DTs into the game and that's exactly what we see right here with the war prison. The fourth base on the other hand is already being built and Welmo is going to face a hive take very soon. We have Spire started. So Lino just doesn't take, he doesn't care too much about this. Has one DT already taking a couple of kills, another one over here. We do not have too many overseers. He's getting three at a time right now. That might be, uh, yeah that might actually work for him. So, uh, Welmo at this point is doing uh, yeah, all he can, the Finnish player really trying to make that work, but uh, right now he's so far behind that I just don't see him coming back into the game. Because we have Welmo still not with a third base, and we have Hive Tech nearly completed, we have the Spire nearly done, a fourth base is something, that's something I don't think he even saw, or did he? Yeah, he saw. He knows there's a fourth base. And what else do we have? Let's look at the upgrades. We have plus one attack, four Welmu, nothing else, and there we go. Time warp being used already, the links closing the distance, the first immortal is gone, the sentries, they all disappear, and without the sentries he just doesn't stand a chance in the fight. He needs the force fields. He needs the force fields or he will not win a single fight against an opponent. Not even with four immortals. So right now the hive tech is completed for Lenok. He can get vipers. He goes into a mutalisk instead for now. He has all the cards in his hands. He has the choice what he wants to kill Welmu with. Welmu, let's look at the army supply. Is at 56 against 123 at this point, and doesn't have any sentries. Like no sentries whatsoever. That's just not gonna work. The blink upgrade is available, so this will help him at least a little bit, but we see just spine crawlers being built everywhere and this army alone should be able to take them out. It's still a bit of a scary gateway composition, and don't get me wrong, but the mutalists are gonna wreck the mineral line here without a problem, and this army, I don't I don't see it happening. I don't see this happening, and as soon as Welmo sees the mutalists entering his main base, I think we're gonna see the GG being called. The army is completely getting killed, uh, everything over here dies as well. The GG and Lenok with a second point 